Stand back! Stand back! Stand back! The arrest of renowned Islamist preacher Anjem Chowdhury in London. I am arresting you under Section 41 of the Terrorism Act 2000 as I suspect that you are a terrorist. And Chowdhury has now been convicted alongside 29-year-old Edmonton man Khalid Hussein. Both men found to be members of the terror group Al-Muhajiroon, or ALM. It is banned in the UK. Chowdhury was also convicted of directing it. ALM has been linked to deadly terror plots, including the separate 2017 attacks on Westminster Bridge and here on London Bridge, which left 13 people dead, including one Canadian. Police from London coordinated with New York's NYPD and the RCMP to build the case. And it's a sign of um, how healthy our relationships are that we can collaborate almost in one investigation across international borders and jurisdictions. Previously, Chowdhury spent time in prison for encouraging people to support Islamic State. He was released in 2018. Three years later, he began online lectures to a group called Islamic Thinkers Society, or ITS. Prosecutors said it was simply a U.S. branch of ALM. The RCMP, meanwhile, found Hussein was an active online member. Hussein's role in this was essentially writing these documents under pen names and getting it out to the worldwide community. He had to have authority from a, a higher person and that's why we're highlighting his relationship with Mr. Chowdhury here. Hussein told undercover RCMP agents that ALM and ITS were essentially the same group. When he revealed he was flying to meet Chowdhury, police acted and both were arrested. The significant element of this investigation is that it disrupts the radicalizer himself, um, rather than focusing on the foot soldiers. Both men will be sentenced next Tuesday.